A super galaxy can carry cargo for almost 9,000 kilometers without refueling, but sometimes even that's not far enough. The plane's designers couldn't add more fuel tanks, so instead they came up with a radical solution, a mid-air filling station that enables almost unlimited range. And right now, a trainee pilot is about to practice refueling at over 480 kilometers an hour, 6,000 meters above the ground. Just think about it for a moment. Somebody realized, yeah, big planes couldn't carry big fuel loads to make big enough distances. So somebody said, aloud, I know, why don't we get one as a tanker and a pipe and connect it to that aeroplane in the air whilst they're moving? And what staggers me is people went, yep, that's worth a go, we'll give it a shot. So somebody had to do it for the first time. And the only way to train for it is to actually do it, up here in the sky, where any mistake... No, let's not go there. So Richard, you can see on our traffic collision avoidance system, the plus one, that's yeah. our tanker 10 miles to the left. Usually you're on the lookout for other aircraft to avoid them. Right, not to, not, not to connect with it. That's what's blowing my mind. We're actually looking for an aircraft to get close to. And if you look right now, you can see him. And there it is. That's it. Genuinely, I can't believe that this is possible. I can't believe that in this gigantic aircraft, get close to that one and connect with a hose. I still can't believe this is possible. As the two planes close in on each other, the tanker's boom operator prepares for action. And as if the thought of flying directly behind another plane at seven and a half thousand meters wasn't terrifying enough, it turns out the super galaxy's vast size throws off the aerodynamics of the tanker. If you imagine the air rushing over our nose, it's actually pushing up on the tanker. Yeah. So every time we go up or down, they have to react to it. The planes are now so close to each other that our super galaxy creates a bow wave that the tanker plane has to ride. But in turn, the jet wash from the tanker creates turbulence that affects our plane's huge tail. Oh, my God. That noise from overhead is where the hatch is opened up, ready to receive the probe. And you feel it vibrating through the flight deck. 